Today in our 2014 Toyota RAV4, we're going to be test fitting the Swagman XC2 bike rack, part number S64650. We already have a bike installed, let's go ahead and take a closer look and show off some of the features. How the bike attaches to the rack, we're going to have one point of contact, and that's going to be this padded frame hook up at the top. Now the hook is padded, so when you install your bike, it won't get scratched up. We also have these adjustable wheel trays at the bottom here. You just loosen those up and they can move along the arms to aid with both loading as well as being able to fit different style and size bikes. Also, the bike rack itself has this nice raised shank here, so if your hitch does sit pretty low, you're not going to have a clearance issue between the bike rack itself and the ground. Well, let's go ahead and take the bike off and set it aside. First lift up the top hook, and then we'll push this great trigger here at the bottom of the, wheel, of the frame hook and push it up. Now, you want to make sure you're holding onto your bike before you release this because you do not want the bike falling into the vehicle. With the bike rack in this position, I'm going to go ahead and give you a couple quick measurements. Measuring from the edge of the bumper to an outer wheel well here, we've added about 21 and a half inches to the rear of the vehicle. Our ground clearance to these edges here is going to be about 14 inches. And then the closest point to the bumper is going to be the inner wheel well, and that's going to be about 7 and a half inches to that point there. That same measurement from the center of the hitch pin hole is going to be about 10 inches, so just keep that number in mind when you, if you were to have a different style hitch installed on your RAV4 that goes either further in or comes further out. Now there's a couple different positions you can do with this bike rack. This is going to be called the loading position. Now if you want to gain rear hatch access, you can fold it flat. And this will fold to either side. And now we have full access to our rear hatch. Our final position is going to be called the suitcase position. And this is more so for when you're going to be finished with the bike rack and you're going to put it away for storage in either your garage or your basement. You come to the sides here and pull these pins and lift up the arms that have the wheel cradles. And this is called the suitcase position. How the, hitch it, uh, how the bike rack attaches to the hitch, we have this anti-rattle bolt that you'll tighten down, and that'll take the shake and play out of the shank. And this does work with both inch and a quarter and two inch hitches. So there you have it for the Swagman XC2 bike rack, part number S64650 on our 2014 Toyota RAV4. Here it is on our test course. We'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next, we're at the alternating speed bumps, which we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. And finally, we have the full speed bumps, where we'll see the up and down action, which is just like driving out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.